All right, everyone. Today I'm going to be reviewing the uh, the 5 mm mouthpiece. I'll show you my current configuration. This is the Harrelson Trumpet 5 mm. The mm stands for modular mouthpiece, and that there's five different modular components. Uh, with this model, I have uh, Jason's crew has made me a uh, a copy of the GR Wayne Bergeron uh, studio mouthpiece made by GR which is a fantastic mouthpiece. Uh, I just like the, the rim is very flat. I lose a little bit of flexibility, but it's very comfortable. And uh, I gave the 5mm a shot and I really liked it because of the interchangeable parts. So let me show you a little bit about the interchangeable parts now. So if you unscrew the rim, it's actually more than just the rim. With the rim, there's a cup inside which you can you can unscrew. Each 5mm mouthpiece comes with a 5mm tool and a back bore wrench and it also comes with the measuring tool to measure the size between your mouthpiece and your receiver for the nut to size. Or I can take out my throat. So there's an entrance uh, diameter and there's an exit diameter. There's many different configurations based on your type of playing uh, the free, uh, how free blowing you want it to be. If you want to, uh, if you want a laser type of sound, if you want to open up your sound, um, and so it's got nice O-rings to keep it uh, airtight as well, and it, everything fits really seamless. This is the cup and the rim without a throat. Those come apart, but I have no need to take it apart. I use the same rim and cup with every configuration. The only things that I change out are my back bore body and my throat so this is the back bore which goes inside of the receiver and there's different numbers I don't know if you can see that they're kind of etched in and it's threaded that's the back bore this is the throat there's different see how mine's pretty tight see if you were to find a, a more open playing throat there'd be less metal there and uh, these are kind of matched up as pairs sometimes depending on on your playing preferences but let me show you how easy it is to change so this is one of the heavier bodies uh, it's a raw brass okay you can see the threaded so the air passes through this um, and let me show you how it works now okay so I'm going to hook up the back bore very smooth you don't need to do it too tight there's my back bore and then I'm going to put my throat back very carefully back into my cup you can see that that lines up and it looks like that I then insert this into the body and screw it onto the body okay I'm almost done there's a nut that you can uh, use with Jason Harrelson's kit to figure out how thick you need this nut so that you have a seamless transition to your receiver if you have a VGR receiver. Um, and so I'm going to put on the nut. It's that easy. This is a complete 5mm that I like to use. I'll show you what that looks like on one of the VGR receivers. So this is the VGR the varial gap receiver. I'll do another video on that to show you how that works. You insert that and it's basically seamless. Obviously there's a small gap, but from a regular distance you can barely tell. This is the three quarter inch receiver and I've made that to fit the body of this mouthpiece. Now, watch how fast it is to switch all the components from this mouthpiece to my lead silver mouthpiece. I'll have to get a scale out and see what the, the weight differences are from this body and this, but I can actually tell a difference. The main difference that I can tell is the, the response and the feedback. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how fast and easy it is to switch from the main body that I uh, have been using to a newer body, which is the lightweight model. I'll throw the model and description in the description below. Okay, ready? Start that timer now. Okay, so first you take off the nut. I take off the backboard. 
I'm going to take off the rim and the cup and the throat, and I'm going to set this aside, which is the body. Now I'm going to insert this into my new body, which is the lightweight version. Get that all flush. Put in the new back bore, same back bore, and I'm done. This is the lightweight model, which I don't know if I mentioned, but that does not use a nut because there's nothing to screw in with this because it's so thin, you don't use a nut. What does that look like? Looks like this. So there's no nut there. Everything plays awesome though. Uh, what's really nice is I have uh, another throat and a back bore that I put in here that's a little bit wider uh, and, and allows a little bit more air to travel through it. I can get a, uh, a bigger sound, uh, fills up the room a little bit easier. This is more of my laser type lead setup. So if you'd like to know more about that, I'll throw in a link uh, to Jason's website and you can check it out for yourself. Also, I'll be making another video on how the VGR works next. And I actually installed this with a buddy's help. And I will show you that in another video.